It's almost time to go, isn't it, Rue? Think you can handle it? A couple weeks without your couch, your chair? A couple weeks without Dory? Dory's one of her best friends. She likes Dory. Dory? Do you have your hiking shoes? Yep. Well, Boots. yeah. Look at that trunk. Are you impressed? I'm so impressed. Now let's see if it will shut. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, let's get the dog. Yeah. All right, Ruse, first real big road trip. So this 2004 Honda with 156,000 miles uh, better hold strong. We're going to put what, like 4,000 miles? Yeah. Okay. Four or five. Action. And this 2004 Honda still starts like this. <laughs> uh, minutes before we left, the post office delivered a letter saying that I got another $600 from the government. For what reason? You earned, you got the earned income credit in 2019. Okay, real weird. Um, but that is pretty much gas for the trip. All right, where are we going? Mm, somewhere outside of Boise. All right, still in Portland. First fill up at 539 at the Leathers. He said, Yes. He did. Yay! <laughs> she gets real stressed in the car, so yeah, gave her a melatonin to see if that helps. Alright, we've made it to government camp, um, rest area, right on Mount Hood. Uh, Highway 84 was closed, so it took way, way longer than it should. I think it took us an hour and 20 minutes to get what normally would have taken us 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so we still have six hours and 15 minutes um, on the plan to drive today. Don't be afraid of the darkness. No, don't be ashamed of the light. My love for you is a deep blue ocean, baby. I just want to swim inside. Right. So we got about three and a half hours remaining on the trip. We've now made it to the Oregon high desert where no plants grow over like a foot and a half tall. You see, you see, you know, a couple of trees every now and then, but most of it's just real flat and uh, real low. The high desert. Uh, it's been about an hour since we've come across the town. We're wanting to, to stop pretty soon to replenish water and just take a little bit of a stretch break. Um, but yeah, when you get this, when you get this far out, it could be like a hundred miles between towns or longer. Rhubarb is still stressed, but I think she might be calming just a little bit. Uh, she took a, a quick nap. Uh, kind of. Kind of, yeah. Not really. It's a paper. Uh, yeah, we're only four hours into the trip, so hopefully, hopefully another day or two she she calms down and actually enjoys herself. I wanna go with you everywhere. Even I would write your name upon the stars. My love for you is a fire in motion, baby. You make me feel alive. So we are off-roading. We're camping near Snively Hot Springs, but we didn't drive all the way there because uh, we're in BLM land, so we can just kind of choose wherever we want. But yeah, there's a <laughs> an oil or natural gas pop pipeline right there. We'll get more shots of it later. Um, we're not for sure if we're camping right here, but we're gonna check this area out first. Both got phones or you know cameras out. This is our secret campsite of the night.
Well, it's one oil pipe to ruin the view. Yeah, Rue, you really did do a good job once we got about three-fourths of the way here. You stopped stressing so bad. Were you able to fill that water jug up? Yep. She's uh, really good at that. You're free, puppy. And we just heard bullfrogs, so there might be some, some good noises tonight. All right. Let's get that tent set up, eh? Rue, did you find some other dog's food? Uh, yeah. Think about it. We gotta figure out what kind of food this is. That'll be the one we get her. All right, so we're as settled in as we can be. It's starting to get a little bit too dark to film. So I figured I'd get one more little tiny thing in before maybe I just do some photos. But I feel really lucky for this spot. You know, it's eight hours away from home. So you don't really know what you're getting into, especially when you you lose two hours and you gotta, gotta make a, like you need to find a spot soon. And it just worked out perfectly. Get bit. And we got some brewskis and a river and an oil pipeline. What more can we ask for? Huh? Um, should we put this away before bed just so, in case it throws, it goes away? Uh, oh my God, words, yep. words, wind, in case wind blows it away. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Uh, it's a little bit of an early <laughs> night tonight. Yeah, the mosquitoes came out in full force when the sun left. I'm layered in a bunch of uh, uh, off bug spray, layers of clothes. They don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll bite through anything. So we're gonna get in the tent, play some cards, whatever we need to do to wind down and hopefully not get bit up by mosquitoes. But these mos mosquitoes can probably <laughs> bite through. <laughs> they could probably bite through a tent. up at 5 30. Haley woke up for a little bit a little bit before that. We can't see any neighbors but there's somebody across the river that was that was screaming at their bitch and their dog so it was pretty loud. Who's that angry at four in the morning? Uh, yeah I woke up pretty much when I would be going to bed in Portland.
It looks like the sunrise is about to happen. When I first woke up, it was, it was really cloudy. So I thought it was gonna be a real beautiful sunrise, but the clouds have dissipated a little bit. So it's gonna be a real shitty sunrise. Barbara finally up, so make it some better coffee. Yeah, there's some good instant coffee, but this stuff is not very good. Alright, while the coffee's steaming, looked over here, there's also water steaming. Which this is hot spring area. Hi. Yeah, wow. Wonder if this is a little bath right here. gonna have to touch it yeah it's it's hotter than like bath water maybe careful pup <laughs> yeah not solid ground yeah you can see steam on there it's, it's really neat spoke of motivation and attention that I could and I dreamt of easy answers and abandoned everything Said oh no, I hold them to the things I left Just to be here, such sentiments, they stuck my ears I taught a ten earring There I was just sitting in your room Some boy you barely knew Are you two going on a run? So as we just saw, Haley and Rhubarb went for a run, and on the way back, she noticed that there are nails all over this path, the path that we just drove on. So getting out of here is going to be just as sketchy as getting in. Luckily, my tires are fine. She put the nails at the edge. There they are. Like big old honking nails too. They look pretty old. Yeah, it's a lot of corrosion. I think they were put here by the local towing company, local tire company, crazy meth heads. But she said there's still hundreds on the trail. That's really screwed up. So bright. Boop. Good girl, Rue. This is the her cooling vest. Pour more on it when she's wearing it. Camp's pretty much packed up. Spider webs on the lens. Uh, this morning, I mean, the sun has risen hours and hours ago, but it finally just came over this uh, mountain cliff. So we got sun on our campsite. But this morning, I just was like, trying to enjoy the, the cold because I knew that it would become hot and miserable just in the matter of an hour or so. All right, we're getting out of here. Me and Rue. Wait, where's Haley? Haley's walking ahead because uh, she knows where the nails are and uh, trying to clear the path. Yeah, I take, I've taken this car through a lot of shit. Doesn't like that my seatbelt's on. Okay, and I 
nice slow here. So swat away the biting flies. Ouch. Here we go. Get up this. Oh yeah. We're gonna try to go out that way. Oh my god. We still pick up some. It's not There's on our lot. path. Here's. Oh. Ah. Wow, one. Like Two. so many different sizes, too. Yeah, somebody just tossed them right out. I can't imagine how many people have come out of here or got stuck in here with flat tires now. Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't happen to us. Yep. Ah, it's because we we're so close to that one town, Burns. Yep. God damn it. We're going through Burns, Oregon right now, which last time we were on a road trip, uh, I don't know if we came into town the same way or not, but we got a flat tire in this town. And this was the spot where we had called, you know, so many different people to try to help us out and ended up finally getting out of town. And I uh, just want to say that so far we do not have a flat tire and we're doing great. And uh, we won't need your help today, Burns. All right, Rue, let's go. All right, we're at Bixby's stocking off something like that coffee. They just brought out Rue a pup cup. Do you know what she said? She said, I like root beer too. You like what? Oh yeah. All right, so we've been hanging out at this cafe for a while. Just about ready to hit the road. Um, we're heading to Salt Lake City, but the first like destination stop is Twin Falls and it's like three-fourths of the way there and it looks really beautiful. Said oh no I hold them to the things I left to be here such sentiments they stuck my ears a taut and ten earring they're always just sitting in your room some boy you barely knew Cars passed by outside as a conversation grew Somewhere out on Dimmons Avenue So we found ourselves in the Holy Land. No, not Salt Lake City. Loves. And this Loves here has a dog park. It just doesn't get any better. Loves we're at is in Bliss, Idaho. It's about 97 degrees right now. Trying the best we can to keep ourselves and uh, rhubarb cool. Uh, I think we got about an hour, hour and a half until we get to Twin Falls. Haley took over driving about a half an hour ago. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, you know, not a I went to bed a little late. Woke up so I could see the sunrise. And then I just didn't sleep that well. So I was trying to get a little bit of sleep in the car. Um, haven't yet. So this last little leg, I'm hoping to, to catch like 15 minutes at least. Cicadas in Idaho? Wow, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Chopper poop right there. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know there were cicadas like this far west. Maybe we'll see some lightning but follow her up. Yeah. Did you see it real? She found it. Why do you always, no matter what, get yourself? So many dogs to peed right here. Huh? So many dogs to peed right here? Yeah. 